G'day guys, welcome back to Opto Studio. Got a tip today for you that I think is going to save you quite a bit of time. If you're not using templates already, I'm going to show you how to. And if you are, good for you, because man, what a time saver. I was just about to do a voiceover session, and what I thought I'll do is go, all right, well, where's my templates? Here we are, project templates, voiceover. I've got one set up for music as well. So if I load that in, and we're good to go. So when I set up a template, what I want is everything that is in the template ready to go so I can just get creative when I want to, okay? So I've got an idea for a voiceover, right? Put it down and I don't want any hindrance of setting up this and setting up that, all the technical stuff and, and get it out of the way. See the old days of patching cables and stuff like that? Well, look, you know, they're a little bit over and you've got all your plugins and everything ready to go. See this one here, look, it's set up ready already. To record it's coming from the right input and that channel's ready to go so i got everything i need <laughs> all right so if we start over here guys look at this the master channel okay so i've got all the plugins that i need the ones i use just take those ones out at the moment because i won't use those till the end all i've got on the top there is just a just a mild smooth compressor just over the mix bus just as i go along just so i can just get a, a gist of where things are going to be at so down here i've got my two vocal tracks going into a vocal bus all the plugins for that are ready. Same microphone I use, same technique, it's all there. So I know that I'm going to pretty much be within the right frame um, as I do this voiceover when I'm ready to go. All the elements, okay, so if I'm doing radio stuff, there's a music bed. My MIDI input is ready to go. That can be a little bit of a mission setting up the old MIDI in, uh, in Reaper I found, but once I got the, um, got the right setting, save it, put it all in there. And of course down here all the vocal effects that I can use. And that kind of thing so guys really easy everything is set up here the way you want it ready to go so you can get creative use a template what i found the easiest way to do was get a project that you've already done take out all of the audio files and anything that's connected to that kind of thing because all your, your scenes and all that are still there okay and then just go up to file go to project templates save project as a template there it is and what i'll do is i'll just save it over top of this one if you have got media that you want to take with you all the time click that button there copy all media into project directory using da -de -da -de -da. and that'll mean that it'll go with that file and it'll stay with it every time you open it and then just click save in this case i want to replace it yep perfect and there we go project templates in reaper why wouldn't you all right guys hope that tips helped if you've been using them already good for you if you haven't you know what to do now right Hey, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and uh, of course, if I've earned your subscription, absolutely, please hit the subscribe button, be more videos to come. Cheers!